Hey, a pleasant good day, Phantoms fans. This is Sports Night News. I'm Dvorak, and this is going to be a preview to our Lehigh Valley Phantoms playing the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Baby Penguins at 7.05 p.m. tonight as they try to get back into the sixth spot where the Wilkes-Barre Penguins are right now as they take them on in Wilkes-Barre. Obviously, for a Phantom, this past weekend, it was a tough loss to the Utica Comets, a 3-2. to two. That was the tough, dreaded shootout loss. And then it was a 3-1 to one defeat at the hands of another top contender in the Springfield Thunderbirds that the Flyers then fell to their uh, top affiliate, the Blues, shortly thereafter. But they fell to the Springfield Thunderbirds 3-1. to one. But Tanner Lazinski came back, was flying around the NHL weekend, and did score in that game. And Kirill Ustamenko, who's back down with the Phantoms, which is the big key um, for tonight's game also played like a bat out of hell all weekend, winning him the PSEC Player of the Week, and also earning him the call-up because Samson's banged up to be the backup for Martin Jones in the two games earlier in the week. He's now been brought back down, which is what I expected when I did the team checking yesterday. I said that in the video yesterday, and I think anybody really would have expected that, where Sekaropoulos was picked up at a PTO, I guess just in case that didn't happen. That's one of those odd scenarios for a kid. Seems like he might be going to an AHL team on a PTO, then the next day, ends up getting cut, so he's going to be back, I would think, with the Adirondack Thunder playing for them, uh, Alex Sekaropoulos. And then also the other thing is Alexis Deo, um, who we picked up on the PTO from the trois Rivière Lions, was also cut loose <clears throat> today as well. Anthony Androkis, uh tweeted out earlier that Alexis Deo, on top of Sekaropoulos, uh, being let go, or have both been let go from their PTOs, is the fan of still in goaltending purposes have Garrett Melkamp around with Cruz Domenko until Felix Sandstrom is fully well and able to go. But when it comes to tonight's game against Wilkes-Barre Scranton, as we take a look at the overall standing uh, to see exactly how far Lehigh Valley is from Wilkes-Barre Scranton right now, it is... Wilkes-Barre has 47 points, so are 43, a .500 exactly percentage to a .478, so it's obviously close, but this is a huge game for the Phantoms, because the Phantoms have two games behind Wilkes-Barre, so if they can win the two games that they have at hand against Wilkes-Barre, that the two games, or excuse me, two games below Wilkes-Barre in terms of games played, that is huge for them to be able to get that sixth spot as well, where obviously we all know from seeing Wilkes-Barre for a while, of Valtteri Pustinen, a P P O J Pierre Olivier Joseph Felix Robert always kills the Phantoms. Uh, Samuel Poulin is a guy that definitely brings it against the Phantoms. Now they have Alexander Nylander hasn't been able to figure it out at the top level yet, but has been successful at the AHL level. So you always have to look out <clears throat> uh, for Alexander Nylander, of course. Kyle Olson, you have to look out more from uh, the rough bones uh, side of things, and same goes with Cam Lee um, from that side of things and Devane at times as well. Um, but uh, this team is obviously full of skill. They got Gruden, they got Nylander, they got Fadoon from the back end, Ricola, uh, Chapu, uh, Hollander, obviously. You got Pustin and POJ. So, uh, obviously, we know the Wilkes-Barre Scram Penguins are going to bring it each night. They have Philip Lindbergh in net, Tommy Napier, or Louis Domingue, who's a very experienced AHL goaltender, as well as Alex Diorio. So, they got depth in net as well, just like our Lehigh Valley Phantoms do as the Penguins have a couple really solid net minders budding in their system, just like the Flyers, which is odd to still say for the Flyers in my lifetime, but of late have been better at having goaltenders in their system have in their system. Um, so this is going to be a game that I think, just like the last handful of games, is going to be one of those stressful-to-watch games uh, due to how close I think it's going to be. I think it can be a 3-1 to -one game in the one team's um, realm because I think it's going to be really close into the third and then whoever's able to pounce and have that very good third which hasn't been the Phantoms case of late or in terms of closeout they haven't been able to find the right way to close out of late I should put it because obviously the one was in OT and in a shootout when they were not able to get it done but it is what it is now it's about those since the Phantoms have been correcting their woes have been much better in 2022 and since February or since February since December I mean and were very good in January, and then started figuring it out, it seemed, in February, to now struggle again <clears throat> this week. It's about getting back to to, to the basics and just kind of meeting with the team, having Cal Riley, the captain, everybody just kind of get to the throw the shots on that, figure it out, how we were able to beat Providence, how we were able to beat Hershey two times in the, in the previous weekend. 
try to get back to that where they were just jamming teams at the neutral zone better, kind of just figuring out how to get shots on net, not overthinking things at time, not playing too much along the boards at time, uh, where it was a little bit at times against Springfield. It's about being able to find a way to get enough for your goaltender and not make if Usti truthfully is the guy in net, which he should be tonight if he is sent down and ready to go. Um, if he's the guy in net, to not have him be hung out to dry, not even just in terms of playing bad defensively. It's not like they played poorly overall defensively against Rudiker Springfield, but hung out to dry in the sense of not getting him any support, similar to how the Phillies did for Cole Hamels all those years. I look for if he is in net, or even if Mel Cave is in net, the Phantoms to start getting their goaltending more support. Where that's been the issue this month, I don't think the goaltending has really been too poor this month, uh, other than <clears throat> maybe that 6-4 game. But like even then, the Phantoms really hung the goaltenders out the dry against Hartford. You just have to play a little bit better, whether it's defensively in times of the game that they do allow high IK insurance interest, or it's just getting your goaltending enough to be able to get a win. Where Ustamenko won the play of the week, still hasn't been able to get a win with the Phantoms this year, but has glowing numbers. Um where they just need to find a way to get over that next oomph, where they had very good success doing that in January. It seemed like they were getting back to it, taking two of three the previous weekend. Now had a struggle bunny weekend last weekend against Rudica and Springfield. It's about bouncing back against Wilkesbury, Cleveland, and then Cleveland two times this weekend to get it going. Or th- Yeah, it's Cleveland two times this weekend after playing Wilkesbury tonight to get the tide going again in the right direction for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Because right now, they are sputtering, but I would say this is just like I've said for the Royals. Um, but the Royals have been in first place in the season, so it's from a bit of a different perspective. But this is just more a bump in the road because the Phantoms have been much better, particularly since 2022, but also since December where I have more confidence <clears throat> now than if this was early in the season before we knew how Lappy was not just as a player strategist and development guy, but also as a coach. Now I believe in him as a coach, I think. They are definitely going to have a good chance to bounce back here. They also have guys getting healthy at the right time. They kind of just had some crap happens losses, too, where the bounces haven't gone their way uh, lately as well. So it, it is what it is. I think the Phantoms will get the tide going again in the right direction. Hopefully it happens in Wilkes-Barre tonight. This is a very important game for them to be able to get into that sixth spot here. Peace, and everybody. Stay safe. Enjoy the game tonight. Please you can subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget. Keep the channel going to 200 or more by the end of February. Enjoy the game and go Phantoms.